Online negotiations are without any doubt more complicated and more difficult than the traditional face-to-face -face negotiation. Due to many circumstances, however, we will be doing more virtual negotiations, and we already know that we're doing a whole lot of virtual negotiations today. Now, if I should just give you a headline of five important things when we're focusing on online negotiation, that makes it a little bit more tricky, and which is really important that you do, especially comparing it to face-to-face -face negotiation. One thing that is really important is that you focus on collaboration. Since online negotiations are more complicated than face-to-face, -face, you need to focus on collaboration. Because collaboration gets even harder when you move online, it can get harder to share the information, identify the variables that could generate value. So focus on collaboration. The other thing I want to share with you is don't make this the new norm. I know it's easier just turning on Zoom and talking to somebody. I know it's easier just picking up the phone, and I know it's even easier just sending off an email. But that's not the way we get the perfect outcome. Now, if you have smaller, less important negotiation, go ahead, just stay online, do them by email or phone or video conference or whatever, that's absolutely fine. But the second we move into negotiations, yet it's just slightly more important, please focus and prioritize to have face-to-face -face time during that negotiation process as well. As you can see here, we have number three, and that is really considering the importance of the deal. And what I'm saying with that is, if this is really important, um, you may want to invest in postponing and doing that negotiation at a time when you can meet up face-to-face -face, instead of trying to save time, speed the whole process up by, by doing it online. Number four is all about trust. And um, my focus and approach into trust is that trust can really be translated into uh, the sentence trust currency. And that's because trust is really a monetized value. We know that in negotiations where the trust level is higher, all parties leave that negotiation financially more successful than in negotiations where there were no or low level of trust. I'm not saying that you should start being naive and just believe everything the counterpart is saying. I'm not saying you should be naive and just accept every proposal and idea that the counterpart presents to you. What I'm just saying is that you need to be more trusty or more trustful on, and have more focus on trust than you would perhaps in a face-to-face -face situation. Online negotiation is more complicated because we don't have a person in front of us. We don't shake their hands, we don't have a direct eye contact, we can't read the nonverbal language. That means we don't have the same sensation and understanding whether that person is, is telling the truth or maybe bluffing. But in general, try and be as honest and open yourself and that typically mirrors to the counterpart as well. And the fifth and the final advice I wanna share with you is choose your technology and make sure that that technology works. I have way too many times been sitting in a virtual online negotiation where we waste too much time on just trying to get everybody online, making technology work. Uh, how do we connect the slide? How do we do the presentation? How do we work the whiteboard? And so on and, and so forth. I know it sounds very simple, but please try and make sure that everybody understand that technology is important and that it works the way we want it to work. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your negotiation in the future.